Alrighty guys, welcome back to game number two of a fistful of tangos, part of your Beyond the Summit weekend of weekend extravaganza, weekend of madness, weekend of non-stop, Dota 2 action, we've got a fistful of tangos, the Beyond the Summit weekend cap as well as, well, our Beyond the Summit studio slightly, slowly, slowly coming to life, I should say. We do need your support, we do need your guys' help from the community, so we appreciate Everybody best dude uh, have done so far, and uh, we hope you can just go that extra mile and just help us to make our studio come a reality. But for the time being, guys, this is your Fistful of Tango's match, game number two, S4. Well, he took game number one. He managed to get a early, early first blood on Sing Sing. If you didn't check it out, definitely worth doing so, just for the sheer hilarity of it. Sing Sing was trying something clever, but it completely backfired in his face. We're going to see if he can work his magic here. Now on the dire side, now on the pudge, he's gone for... A stout shield, quelling blade, healing self build. I'm. I guess he's going for the really early strong last hits. He wants to make sure he can get the early farm with the quelling blade, get up a mass bottle, and try and room control. I imagine. S4, very much more standard items here. He's got the stats from the branches as well. Circlet gives him HP, mana, agility, all things S4 need. You want the HP to survive agility because it gives you the damage for the last hitting, and the intel because raises are very important. You need the mana to sustain yourself in line. Where in lane, sorry. Sing Sing, he's gone for well a much more. I'd say unusual build with this S4. He gets the better block. He gets it blocked near to, so that he can stay on his heel. Also, he's going to make sure this one creep dies nice and early. So this is going to give him an early game sort of strong landing presence. Problem is, he allowed Sing Sing to get the room. With this illusion room, we should see Sing Sing able to sort of dominate the last hits, at least for this first creep wave. Uh, although S4, if he have, has his way, he's not going to allow that. He doesn't. He already actually messes up somewhat of S Sing Sing's last hits. He manages to force one to be missed, gets a deny on another, and now S4, under his tower, has to look for those last hits. Slightly harder job. He doesn't succeed to do so, but so far, this is a start that S4 is going to be okay with. He just wants to make sure Pudge doesn't deny and last hit everything in this first creep wave or two. That's where S4 runs into trouble. If Sing Sing gets a fast bottle and S4 doesn't have any souls but with the 3-2 CS he's got five souls and he's looking fine he's got the plus 10 damage and basically this is a start SF should hope for he's even going to get some additional souls by just raising under tower here Sing Sing what's he brought out brought out some tangos as well so he knew he ne would need some additional regen just the one salve won't keep him in this lane he's really looking to just basically use his illusions to try and get the early game last hitting advantage which hasn't worked out so well for him so far but it's worked out well enough. He's got 250 gold. He's on his way to, I imagine, a bottle. He could go for boots first. We saw last game he went for the boots first on SF. Uh, but so far, nothing out of the ordinary. Neither player looking to be too aggressive. S4 just looking to last hit. Play safe and stable. Not give Sing Sing too many openings to make things happen here. And Sing Sing so far hasn't looked for him. He's now level 3. This is where you can look for those kills. Can look to make something happen. With the level 2 hook. With the 900 range on it as well as the extra 90 damage. 180 pure damage can basically bring SF down to about two-thirds HP and then you've got the rot to finish him off. So as long as Sing Sing isn't too low when he engages, it's a kill on S4. From this S4, he knows that he's going to play so smart and just not allow that to happen. But as far as... And this is this is your farm war. Pudge vs SF, we're seeing a farm war here for the most part and it's, it's actually Sing Sing coming out slightly on top as far as last hits go. He's got the, the slightly better early game sign. He's going to go for the rune here. He finds himself a DD rune. I'm not... I, I don't know if that's the best decision to go for these runes because he gives S4 some basically free basically free farm. He, he gets souls. He gets himself up to 13 souls. Now he gets two denies as well as two or three last hits, and that's going to get SF back on par as well as Sing Sing missing some XP. The denies while he was under lane can, can hurt him. He's going to fall behind XP wise, and SF getting this fast level 5. That's where he can look to apply some pressure onto to Sing Sing. He hasn't used a single raise apart from the one under tower. And look at this. He's already back to full mana. Even though he raised under tower, he's back to full mana. Ayo, Sing Sing. He's trying to look for a line. And this is just, you set up a line where you could get a hook by running out in front. And S4, he knows he's ready to dodge it, but it just forces him to not be last hitting. It puts Sing Sing in a position where he's the one getting farm. And now the raises from afar just coming out to be used to help him farm. As, wow, 17-2 CS on Pudge. Last time we saw Sing Sing play this matchup, um, when he, I believe when he was the Pudge, he got completely outfarmed. It was like an SF with like 50 CS to his 10 or so, and he was just looking for hooks. See, that was the only way he was trying to win it, by just going for hooks. This time, he's focusing more on farming with the Quelling Blade and the Stout Shield. And we're going to see if S4 can break through this. He's going to have to maybe look for the kills himself once he gets these level 3 raises, which he now has. Sing Sing, he's got his bottle up, so he's going to keep on looking for those runes, keep on looking to rune control, and SF with the boots first. We saw Sing Sing do this, so S4 thinks it is the right decision to make. 
And uh, he's just going to be going for the early boot, maybe even just early treads here, both wanting this siege creep. They really want this siege creep. And it looks like not... Oh, oh who's going to get it? <laughs> it, it it's, it's low enough to get, but it's actually S4 scaring, scaring off Pudge. Pudge was actually almost in danger of getting two or three raids to death there. So S4, knowing he had Pudge in a bad spot, instead of lasting the sea trip right away, forced him back, and he's going to try and get this rune. It's not going to be top, though, and that's going to be good news for Sing Sing if he can make his way down the bottom lane in time, and it looks like he will. Problem is, s is going to put pressure on the tower while he's gone. Well, is he going to just race this? No, he decides... Yeah, he is going to race this. So he tried to actually hit the range grip as well with that, but this is just to start chipping away at the tower because... It's two kills or two towers, so he's not going to be able to get two towers very fast, but if this goes long enough, he may have to rely on tower kills, although really that damage he did then was just very insignificant. So he's, it's more sort of more to force Sing Sing to miss XP. So that's really what that was. Force Sing Sing to miss XP by pushing out the creep wave. His, his creep wave he's meant to kill dies to tower while he's getting the ring. He gets himself a regen rune, but he's still a full level behind here, and this is something which is going to make this lane very difficult for him as far as as far as getting kills, he needs he wants to have that level six, and he's not going to be able to get too much farm here anymore because of because of the SF's damage. He's now up to hundred damage a hit with all these souls he's getting, and then on top of that, I mean, you're not really going to be able to get kills here. You haven't got the dismember yet. You're a level six SF. He's also got treads. He's just going to tank up. He may just go braces here, basically straight up braces, and just look for whatever cheap, cost-effective HP items he can get. And uh, sing sing missing hooks here. He's got a regen rune, so he can just keep throwing those for the time being. But problem is, S4 is just farming away. And Sing Sing, he just can't find the hooks. And uh, here we go. S4 is actually going to go through this. He may lose the Kuri as well. Two raises is all he needs, and he can easily get that. He's just going to do one right click with a raise. First blood to S4. Sing Sing gets sniped under his tower. He didn't want to turn around and hook. He would have been dead regardless because he didn't have dismember. So even if he gets a hook off, S4 goes under tower. Sure, he maybe does some damage to S4, but he did not stand a chance of getting away there once the treads are up. And Pudge, well, he's got his boots up now, but unfortunately, the treads of the SF just able to outlane him, outmaneuver him, and gets the additional attack speed as well, which is the crucial thing here. Is he's going to TP right back in, but now for Sing Sing... He's got to go for the big hooks. He needs to start landing hooks, otherwise he doesn't stand a chance here. And S4, he's in control of this. We saw this last game with an early kill. This time, not as early as before, but he is the one in control. Double race, and then he knew that there was potentially a hook coming in, so he veered off to the side. Hook goes out, completely whiffs, and Sing Sing is once again on the backboard. He's going to look for hooks here in the trees. S4 is almost saying, come on, hook me. He's just walking around right in front of him. He's not actually going to get the hook. S4, I think, actually, no, he was going for the illusion room, but in a very risky round. Hook, I believe, was slightly on cooldown there, but still a very dangerous route to take. I think he decided, oh, I'll just man up and go for it. Pudge did have the level 6, does have the dismember, so a hook under the tower is what Sing Sing wants. It's the only way he's going to find a kill, the only way he can get back into it. I I'm loving these red ribbons. He throws the hook, and because there's some gl there's some bug or glitch where right now the hook animation isn't showing, but instead we get these red ribbons, but it's like it looks slightly cooler almost. And I think it has to do with his, maybe his, yeah, it has to do with this hook, this dragon claw hook of his. He's got the cool cosmetics, but unfortunately it's not quite working. Probably to do maybe because we're playing this in the new patch. There we go, once again. Hooks are creep. We're not seeing these hooks, but we're seeing the after effect. And that time it was a hook being drawn to Sing Sing. S4 once again shrugs it off. He's got a bracer. Bracer magic wand. There's so many hooks being thrown out. He decides magic wand will be a decent item choice. It also, I mean, just the it's sort of a cost-effective way to use those three branches. He had them anyways. Rather than sell them and lose about 80 gold, he says, okay, I'll make a magic wand. Get some additional stats, make him take up one item spot, and then, hey, you get some magic wand charges, which can be used to basically take out the Pudge in a 1v1 scenario if he wants to dive on you. And, well, is this more braces? No, it's just a bottle coming out. So he has decided to go back for this bottle now. Not allowed to bottle courier, but uh, that's not what we're going to be seeing here. This is sort of like a mid-game bottle almost. The same mid-game. We're eight minutes in, but he got this after the Treads, Bracer, and Wand and decides it's a much better item to get later on. And, well, Tower in trouble. S4 going to basically take that out with E. Sing Sing now in all sorts of trouble. He's going to go all in for a kill. He's going to just find himself losing Tower after Tower if he doesn't go for kills here. S4 in complete control. 1k gold as well. This is really the big issue. He gets all this gold from him. He's just going to go mana we mana. S4 going to try to fight his way out of this one. I think S4, he may go down here. It's going to be close. He's trying to just battle the magic wand. The magic wand saves him. That's where the magic wand comes in. GG well played from Sing Sing. And it is going to be S4 advancing with a 2-0 sweep. Some of you guys complained about our matchups at time. Oh my gosh, it's not favoured at all. It's, well, it is favoured to someone. But this time, guys, it is 
Sing Sing being defeated 2-0, and that means, well, unfortunately for him, he's going to be knocked out, and it's going to be S4, who advances to the loser bracket finals to meet Sindarin. That's going to be coming up a bit later on today, guys, so definitely stay tuned for that one. But, well, S4, he's looking sharp, and he's looking really good, and he's looking like he may be able to take down Sindarin. But unfortunately for Sing Sing, we've got to say Aju, he is now knocked out of the tournament as uh, we are now going to be out, up to our final three in a fistful of tangos. Fear is awaiting in the grand final. Cinder and S4 are going to battle it out to see who meets him in a best of three later on today, guys. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I'm Gods. You can find me on Twitter, twitter.com slash bdsgods. And of course, you can check out all these VODs as usual on our YouTube, youtube.com slash beyondthesummittv. And anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying our weekend of fun. We'll be back soon with more live Dota 2 action.